Hey crazy loves, welcome back. Today we are talking L'Oreal Infallible Soak Us Me eyeliner pencils. They say that they're a silky pencil eyeliner and they never fail. So here is the packaging on that. And these have been favorites for quite some time. Um, these are a drugstore product. Um, L'Oreal is one of my favorite, next to like Maybelline, one of my favorite uh, drugstore brands. But there is 0 0.03 ounces or 1.1 gram of product here. There are eight colors and um, I am going to swatch all eight colors for you. I do have them all here. They start with number 200 uh, Black Noir and go through 290 Silver. There's a gold, a purple, a teal, blue. So we have some pretty fun colors and even a highlighting color. That way I'll let you be the judge on if you would consider this a dupe for the Urban Decay Perversion pencils or excuse me, 24 hour or 24 seven pencils, whatever they call themselves. I think they are. Um, I mean, in terms of the consistency, it says that it has a 16 hour wear on it. I've never worn it for 16 hours, honestly, so I can't attest to that claim, but I do know that it is very silky. Um, they're very easily uh, to glide on. I like to wear them best in my waterline, although you can put them uh, traditionally where you would wear eyeliner above your lashes. Uh, you can also put it down and kind of try to smudge it out quickly because it is smudge proof. I mean, once it's there, it's there. But you can try to smudge it out uh, and use it as a, a bit of an eyeshadow base, if you will, or to intensify a powder color on top. But, I mean, I really like them. They are rich and silky in formula, as it says. They glide on soft, um, like silk, if you will. <laughs> um, it says it's smudge resistant, and once it sets, I can attest. It is uh, smudge resistant. I can't attest to the 16-hour wear. I mean, I'm sure that there are people that do, and I'm sure I have, but not for, specifically for this reason, have I worn it for 16 hours. It's ophthalmologist tested, and it is suitable for sensitive eyes and contact wearers, and I'm a contact wearer, so that is extremely important for me, um, that it doesn't like transfer all my contacts and cause it to scratch my eye or anything like that. That is the most uncomfortable feeling to feel like you have something in your eye. So, if you want to see these bold colors, then stay tuned for swatches. All right, crazy loves, before we jump into the swatches, I just wanted to show you, this is the Urban Decay Grindhouse Sharpener, and it has, you can see the two holes. This one is the smaller one, and then, of course, there's the larger one. I wanted to show you a couple of the pencils needs sharpening. So I wanted to show you because oftentimes there has been, I noticed when watching other videos, people complain that these are very hard to sharpen. One reason is because of this gold coat here. So um, this doesn't really peel off or anything, but you can see these are brand new, but also you can see that as they they start to shrink down or whatnot. So if you don't use your product, what do they say? You lose it, right? So I'm gonna just take this and put it in there and twist and you can see, let me take the top off here. You can get a better view. But I just put down a paper towel and you can see it's sharpening. And it sharpens right through that doesn't make the prettiest sharp sharpening because of probably the product going down but you can see it's easily sharpens and it sharpens right to you know a point there so again these are the L'Oreal Silk of Me liners and this one is cobalt blue but we will go in order they do come with a little clear top just to let you know but we will start with the first one and I'll just give you some arm swatches, some nice generous arm swatches so that you can see. 
This first one is black. And look how easy that glides. Look at that. It broke the tip off. So that's how easily they glide on. But this is black. And this is just, of course, I'm going over it now a couple times to make the swatch thicker. But you can see there. Look at that. That's black. And that is number 200. Now, I have eight of them. And I'm realizing that as I was unpackaging them, there may be more like I don't have a dark brown and I think that there's like a carbon black color and because my numbers skip from 200 to 230 so there's probably a 210 I'm thinking and also a 220 but I don't have those so I'm just going to show you the eight that I have the next one here is 230 and this is kind of like a light pink but the color that it says on the pencil is highlighter but this is the second one, number 230, and they call it highlighter. The third one is 240, and this is purple. And I'm just swatching them from the side of the pencil because a lot of these are sharpened, so you can see that. The fourth one is our cobalt blue, and that's number 250. Oh, I guess I don't have the... Oh. Well, did we get a dud because it went down? Did it dry up on us? Well, maybe. That's good to know. Y'all are seeing it first here on camera. Look at that. This was supposed to be cobalt. It don't look like we're going to get any blue out of this one. Look at there. So you can see what happens. That one, of course, was down. It had done its thing. and So we're not getting an even swatch on that one. So that one was a dud. And you saw it here first. Boom, boom. I'll, I'll try to sharpen it some more and see if we can get anything out of it. The fourth one, or excuse me, the fifth one is going to be 260, and that's True Teal. Oh, yeah, because see, these are gliding on like butter. And you, one would think that that would do the same if, indeed. The next one is a green color, which is um, green ivy, but see, this one has kind of went in too so yeah I'm gonna have to sharpen that one and then see but this is in living color this is what happens if you don't use your products I'm notorious for getting products and not using them um, the next one is gold and gold is number 280 mm, that's pretty oh and it glides on super easy look at that gold. Last but certainly not least is number 290 and that is silver. So there you have it. That's how many did we get? One, two, three, four, five. We got six good swatches. We got two that I'm going to try to sharpen up and see what we can do with. But I mean, you know, if you can get them on a sale, BOGO, buy one, get one fifty off, or you can snag them at the 40% off um, price point. I would definitely say get your little paws on them. Thanks, crazy loves. Bye.